In this lesson, you're going to learn about molarity, which is equal to concentration. All of this needs to be in your notebook, page 137. You should get this piece of paper and glue it in and read it. It's going to help you. Here are some symbols. These brackets mean concentration. So if you see a chemical in brackets, it says the concentration of that chemical. Capital M stands for molarity, and molarity is moles per uh, liter, or big M, one and the same. And the formula is moles divided by liters of solution, and this is in the district packet. So you don't have to memorize that formula. In all types of these, we're going to calculate molarity. Example one will be a video. It's going to be moles and liters. And then you're going to have grams and liters, and then grams and milliliters. So the part that gives students trouble, um, we'll do example one here, because it's the easiest one. So here, here, I have a larger one. And this is equal to big M. All right. So this is the middle of 137. Here I have uh, 1.0 moles and a potassium fluoride, and it's dissolved to make this many liters of solution. So for molarity, it might be easier for you to have it written like this. Lovingly, it's the S O L N is used a lot for solution. So these are the three variables we need. Right. If I take a look at this problem, I have 1.0 mole and I have 0 0.10 liters. I'm looking for molarity in all the problems that you're going to have to do. So it's already set up perfectly Here's my formula, 1.0 mole divided by 0 0.10 liters. When I do this in the calculator, I get 10. But both of these have two significant figures. So to write this, I have two options. I can do 10 with a decimal. This decimal makes that zero significant and then I put the big M for molarity or I can write the number in scientific notation which also gives me the decimal to make as many zeros significant as I want. So we just used uh, the new formula the moles over liters of solution calculates molarity um, and there you go.